alarm going off. It's another 3 a.m. morning. And this is the last one, I believe. Last time we got to go out this early and check on them. Because in just a couple days, the lows are going to get only to 45. And the highs, we're hitting 60s, 70s, and maybe even 80s. And I'm ready for it, and I think the calves are too. But we're going to make sure one last time that nothing's calving in this garbage. Mid-20 degree weather with the wind howling. Yesterday as the winter storm was starting, Dad and I came over here and us three were getting cows up into the barn. There were three of mine and one of Uncle Jeff's that was looking pretty close and by the end of the day, two of those four had already calved. So we, <laughs> we did a pretty good job of getting the right ones in. You'd say the last few nights I just wasted a little bit of sleep. Makes me pretty happy though. We did a good enough job sorting cows up. Nothing calved outside in the cold of the night. None of Dad's seven have calved. All right, let's go back to bed. Look at this tree. We had freezing rain and all those branches are just weighed down from all that ice stuck to them. The sun sure is shining today. Hopefully that helps warm it up. Still gonna be a windy one. Definitely not gonna feel like spring today. All right, it's a blistery 20 degrees this morning. We're gonna try to take advantage of the cold temps here. sketchy there because you know it is a little frozen enough to where I can pick the stuff up but if I got off if I fell off that concrete we might go down in a big wet dip and I don't want to get stuck too bad now we're gonna run back and do the middle pen should take just one or two dumps with the bucket Now they don't have to stand in that soupy garbage while they're eating. I don't even know if they don't enjoy standing in that stuff. I know I wouldn't, and so I get her done. So in the back there where the bulls are standing, there used to be a barn, and we had a storm that blew it down, but there's still a bunch of concrete over there, which is nice, because then when the pen gets crappy, they got something solid they can stand on, and we put two cornstalk bales on there, and they all loved it.
since it was raining and snowing yesterday and the day before the bedding we got for ooh, look at that clean oil somebody must have just changed that we're gonna throw some fresh bedding out there so they got a good place to lay we don't have any moisture in the forecast for about a week now <laughs> Yeah, they could use some more bedding. It's got a lot of manure and it's just wet. About seven calves in the shelter. So, it's something you've never seen on our videos before. We had a ball over here and we banded it right at first is what you do, make him a steer over at dad's place. Of course, we don't do that because he sells purebred Angus bulls. <laughs> Oh, there's still some frozen ground from the cold last night. We're gonna try getting in that bullpen again and give them some bedding without cutting too deep. Probably gonna have some regerts. You talking to me or these people? Hi, Cole. What's up? I'm just holding the camera on my father. I see. <laughs> Have you told him what we're gonna do? No. Well, most of the barn's pretty clean, but the north part is not, and that's where the eight that haven't calved yet are going. So we're just gonna clean that part since the spreaders got room for it. Put the new bedding in. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I tell myself. Self. Self. These eight have been in here a while and they don't even look that close to calving so the barn probably needs cleaned because they're going to be in there a while but then I tell myself wait till one of them calves self self in two days it's going to be 70 degrees and they can just calve outside and they don't need to be in here anymore yeah but we're not built that way but I said it, self it's dirty I'm cleaning it and we got a spritter half full and then pretty soon we'll say, well, I guess we cleaned it for the last time and now we're done for the year cleaning yep. the barns for calving. Let me explain something a little bit about that calf catcher. You know, people are asking why we don't use it. Well, you can't move cattle with it because there's no floor. You can catch cattle and work cal calves inside it, but you can't just go out there and pick them up and bring them up to the barn. That's why we're not using it. We're not going to drive it into the barn and use it. Cole and I can swing a gate and get the cow away from us. And so it's just been an odd year. The weather has been horrible. Cold and, and wet. And we've been calving everything inside. So we would have, could have never envisioned not using it yet. In a, in a normal year for the last three weeks, we potentially we could have been calving outside. Half our herd would calve outside at least. But this year... That is not the case. But we will use it, and we'll probably use it over to Jeff's place because we're just kind of getting into the thick of it over there. So mm -hmm. we will definitely show you guys how to use it. Hey, uh, song of the day, it's by Radiohead, and it's called uh, Creep. And it's a really good song. It's really catchy. Johnny Depp was in a movie, and watch the video of Johnny Depp in the movie with this gal while that song is playing. You'll get it in your head. You won't be able to get rid of it.
Things are just cased in ice. This wind blasting through here it's not going to take long to dry this floor out which is a good thing and then we'll put a little powder down it's really it's really light fluffy stuff not much weight but a big amount of it boy that wind is brisk it's about 20 degrees Fahrenheit and cloudy and probably a 25 30 mile an hour wind it's chilly Eat. Hey. I think it was last video you can see I blew out the, the transfer case in here. And so we got to spread by hand today. I was just at the store yesterday grabbing a few things. Bought my wife a hose for her garden and some other materials, some grass seed because our lawn is terrible. And I was looking at some of these because, you know, spread the grass seed plus this one's broken. For something cheaper quality than that, it was like a hundred bucks. I was like, geez, I ain't spending a hundred dollars on something with a it's all plasticky and garbage and trash and I just couldn't believe it. It's like I need something that is made out of metal. A little less plastic please. But I'm sure that's like what? 300, 400 bucks? There's my rant for the day. It goes a lot faster when you do just half of it and then you don't have all those little small areas those are the, that's what takes forever is dinking around to all the fence it was almost fun this time believe that's the last time we have to clean and put new bedding in here because we have so few cows left plus the weather's supposed to warm up it's crazy that it could be about 60 degrees warmer in a couple days than it is right now and i welcome that i am excited i somehow managed to spread that lime shoot the bedding in spread it around and then sit on my phone for 20 minutes before he got back with that spreader did you fall in Did I not get back as soon as Cole would like? I don't know. It just seemed like you were there for a couple I while. Think, I think that every time you go over there, I'll be like, he should be back soon. Like when I'm loading you and you're hauling, and I'll look across and you're like still out in the field. Hmm. Yes, it takes a while. I see. There's this movie where I think everyone just stops walking and they just stand still frozen. Sometimes I think I'm in that movie because Dad just hunches over a little bit and gets on his phone and just stands there silently without moving. I'm a businessman. I'm a farmer that people ask me stuff. I see. I got to explain to people why I can't put them on the list for naming the calf because we got eight cows left and we got 18 names on the list. So I quit putting names on the list. I thought, okay, what if they're all girls? I need eight names. But what if one has a twin? So I put I kept going. I got nine boys, nine girls, and like 75 people that have asked me since, and then I explained to them. Yeah. I don't ignore them. I explained to them. Uh, 
got 18 names on the list. Eight left the cab. I'm sorry. Can't so go. all I'm hearing is you're just a bad guy, and it's all your fault. I'm here and I'm trying to explain that it's the opposite, that I'm a good guy. I got my skid loader warming up. I'm going to drop in another bale of hay here. Oh, scared little guy. I just looked at the forecast for next week. It's crazy. 70s and three days of almost 80 degrees. Oh, I said that to... Whoa. Somebody broke that. And that. Can't have nothing nice. I said that to Dad and I could see a bead of sweat rolling down his forehead just thinking about it. We're feeling pretty excited though. Planting season is like, feels like it's tomorrow. Grass is going to be greening up. Hopefully we get a big old rain soon. Next week is bowl day, so that's fun. So stick around for that. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate all you guys watching. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. been domesticated. <laughs>